When you see a fighter pilot in the cockpit, one of the first things that stands out is that distinctive mask covering their face. It's sleek, high-tech looking, and iconic, part of the classic image of a modern aviator. But that mask isn't there for looks or intimidation. It's a crucial piece of life support equipment that keeps pilots alive and functional while they soar at incredible speeds and altitudes. So why exactly do fighter pilots wear masks? What's inside them and how do they work? Let's take a deep dive into one of the most important, yet often misunderstood, parts of a pilot's gear. Let's explore right here on History of Simple Things. To start, it's important to understand the environment fighter pilots operate in. Modern fighter jets can fly at altitudes exceeding 50,000 feet. That's nearly 10 miles above the Earth's surface, much higher than the cruising altitude of most commercial airliners. At those heights, the air is extremely thin, meaning there's very little oxygen available for humans to breathe. Without oxygen, a person would lose consciousness within seconds. So, the primary function of that mask is to deliver a steady flow of oxygen directly to the pilot. It's connected to an oxygen system inside the aircraft, which supplies either liquid oxygen, compressed gaseous oxygen, or a mixture generated on demand by what's called an OBODS, or Onboard Oxygen Generation System. The OBOGS is a fascinating piece of technology. Instead of relying on limited oxygen tanks, which could run out during long missions, OBOGS uses engine bleed air, air taken from the jet engine's compressor section, and filters it through molecular sieves that separate oxygen from other gases like nitrogen. The result is a continuous supply of breathable oxygen, no matter how long the flight lasts. The oxygen then flows into the pilot's mask through a regulator that maintains just the right pressure and mix. This system ensures that even as the jet climbs, dives, and maneuvers, the pilot always has what they need to survive. But oxygen supply is only part of the story. At high altitudes, it's not just about breathing, it's about maintaining enough oxygen pressure inside the lungs to allow the body to function properly. When a fighter jet climbs fast, the air pressure outside drops dramatically, and the oxygen molecules in the air become too sparse to support life. That's why the mask provides pressurized oxygen. It helps push oxygen into the lungs even when the outside air pressure is extremely low. This prevents a condition called hypoxia, where the brain and body are starved of oxygen. Symptoms of hypoxia include dizziness, euphoria, confusion, and eventually unconsciousness. A deadly situation for anyone, but especially for someone controlling a supersonic aircraft. Now, the mask also serves another critical purpose communication. Fighter jets are incredibly noisy machines, and pilots rely on clear communication with their squadron and control towers. The mask has a built-in microphone that allows pilots to speak over their intercom and radio systems. Without it, trying to communicate over the roar of the jet engines and the rushing air would be nearly impossible. The microphone is designed to pick up the pilot's voice clearly, even when they're breathing heavily during high-G maneuvers or combat situations. In short, the mask keeps them connected as well as alive. Speaking of high-G maneuvers, this is another situation where the mask plays a vital role. When fighter pilots pull extreme G-forces, blood tends to rush away from the brain and toward the lower body which can cause something called G-lock, or G-force-induced loss of consciousness. To combat this, 
Pilots wear a combination of specialized equipment, G-suits that squeeze the legs and abdomen to keep blood near the brain, and oxygen masks that provide slightly increased air pressure during these moments. The pressurized oxygen helps maintain proper breathing and blood oxygen levels, even as the pilot is being pushed to their physical limits. Interestingly, the mask also serves as part of the pilot's emergency survival system. If a fighter jet suddenly depressurizes at high altitude, the pilot would immediately rely on the oxygen supply from their mask to stay alive. In case they need to eject, the mask remains connected to a personal oxygen bottle that activates automatically during ejection, ensuring the pilot can breathe even while parachuting down through thin air. This system is meticulously tested and designed for reliability, because when you're ejecting from a fighter jet at 500 miles per hour, you don't have time to worry about breathing. Modern fighter pilot masks are also designed with comfort and safety in mind. They're made from lightweight materials with tight seals around the face to prevent leaks. They must stay secure during intense maneuvers and ejections, yet still allow the pilot to move and communicate freely. Every aspect of the mask, from its straps to its microphone placement, is engineered for function under extreme conditions. Pilots even go through specific training to get used to wearing it for long missions, as breathing through a pressurized system can feel strange at first. So, that mask on a fighter pilot's face isn't just a prop for dramatic effect. It's a vital link between the pilot and survival at the edge of Earth's atmosphere. It delivers life-sustaining oxygen enables crystal clear communication, supports high G breathing, and acts as a safeguard during emergencies. Without it, no pilot could endure the harsh, oxygen-starved, high-pressure world of modern aerial combat. The next time you see a fighter pilot suited up with that intimidating mask and visor, remember, beneath that gear is a human being, breathing, talking and fighting to stay alive in an environment where humans were never meant to go. That mask is their lifeline, their shield, and their connection to the world below. And that's why fighter pilots wear masks, not for style, but for survival. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.